All right, I wanted to show a um, feature of this uh, Keysight Field Fox that you don't see on many spectrum analyzers. Um, but this was meant to go in the field and it has a particular mode that could be very, very handy. So right now I'm looking at a, a 900 megahertz center and there is some, there's a, you can just see it every once in a while. There's some something happening in there. We could, like normal, we could go into trace and we could do a max hold and then we can start to see that there's some some things happening here. So there's some activity here, there's some activity here. This is sort of in the cellular band, okay, 900 megahertz cellular band. So um, that's what you would normally see on a standard uh, spectrum analyzer. But this one has something called a real-time spectrum analyzer, and let's turn that on. And here's the picture we get in the real-time spectrum analyzer. Here was that hump that we're starting to see. We saw a couple little activities over here. So, yeah, this one, we could even kind of scale it up. Um, and I think this is without preamp. Now, um, I'm just using a little whip antenna. Uh, it, here's the end of it. So it's just a short little whip antenna, and it's perfectly sens sensitive enough to see all this stuff. Here's preamp. So we'll turn the preamp on. And, yeah, then things got, things got bigger, right? And you can see there's a whole bunch of activity out here. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Now we could, we could, at, uh, same thing, we could do a max hold on all of this. And it's showing us the, the max hold and the real-time data. So it's showing us this really, really nice real-time real -time display. And then uh, building up this, uh, this picture of what's going on in the band. So yeah, it's, it's pretty cool to kind of look around. Let me turn this off. Um, let me go to something. I, I, I don't know what all these frequencies are. I do know one particular band, though. Uh, let's see here. We'll go to frequency. It's around 750 megahertz. And yeah, there we go. So uh, we could even zoom in a little bit on this. Let's see. Let's go ahead and zoom in on what's going on here. Um, so uh, this is again cellular data and I know this particular band is this little this little bit right here that is the s frequencies that AT&T purchased and so they they own that little band there this is what Verizon owns they own this little chunk here and then there's another company that owns that little chunk over there so yeah it's kind of fun we could turn on the uh, Trace. We could do max hold on this as well. And you can see this little bit of data building up over there. But yeah, so these are the individual carriers. Uh, very, very interesting. Now, um, what I want to show though today is um, I think I I think I did that by whacking on it. <laughs> um, so that's exactly what I want to talk about, whacking on things, okay? So this, this, uh, <laughs> this video is going to be all about whacking. Um, and so let's go ahead and hook up a oscillator, and we'll be using the real-time spectrum analyzer mode to be looking at an oscillator. So let me get that set up. Okay, we're going to be taking a look at this little oscillator here. Uh, this is a um, AFD4351, and it's a uh, direct digital synthesis chip, and it has a crystal oscillator, and then it has a face lock loop to take it up to any frequency. I have it set at 500 megahertz, and so let's see what we see here. We have a center of uh, 500 megahertz. We have a span of 1 megahertz. So let's zoom in farther. Let's do a frequency span of... 100 kilohertz. There we are looking a little bit closer. Okay, we'll do a peak to center and we'll do a peak to reference level. Let's zoom in farther. Um, we'll do a frequency span of 10 kilohertz. We are now, oh, we're now in farther, and you see that funny business going on there? Let's zoom in a little bit farther. Um, 
What's what's causing that? Okay, what's causing that? That's causing it. Me tapping my fingers on the bench. You ever seen that before? What's causing that? <laughs> let's zoom in a little farther. Uh, frequency span. Let's do uh, five kilohertz. Yeah, look at that. All of that jumpiness there. Let's uh, change the amplitude. The scale, let's scale it up so we can see noise. Oh, look at that. What's, what's going on there? All right, okay. So, what does this thing have on it? It has a tiny, tiny little crystal uh, right there. One of those little crystal oscillators. One of those little, they're about five millimeters by five millimeters. And if I, if I touch that thing over there, just, just with the tip of my finger, I'm just barely touching this PC board. Okay, in fact, let me, uh, so you know the, you know the weight of a pencil, right? So let's, let's drop the pencil onto the, uh, uh, onto the eraser side, okay? <laughs> Look at that. Let me drop it on the actual PC board itself. Whoa. Okay. So any little mechanical vibration is going to affect that crystal. Let me drop it directly on the crystal. Whoa. Yep. And let me uh, hold there. And let's see if I can s just kind of press the PC board. Yeah. Watch the frequency as I press the PC board. And you'll see that frequency go back and forth. I'm putting just a little bit of mechanical stress on that oscillator. And it's moving it back and forth. I'm not pressing very hard at all just a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. So be very, very careful about your crystal oscillators. Um, make sure they're not in any place where they can get vibration. Now, not all crystal oscillators uh, are the same, okay? Uh, we'll, we'll hook this one up and take a look at its sensitivity. It's one of those real fancy other controlled ones. Uh, but yeah, these tiny, I think the smaller they get, the more susceptible they are too. So this one's this one's super, super tiny. Okay, look at that. Look what's going on there. Uh, so let's hook up. Uh, let's hook up, hook up this one and see what it does. Okay, I've hooked up the uh, crystal oscillator here. That's the oven controlled oscillator. This is the uh, OS OSC five A B. Let's see, OSC five A two B zero two. So uh, this is really, really nice. It's just been turned on, so it's going to drift a little bit until it gets its temperature up. But uh, yeah, let's see what's going to look like here. So uh, here I have a 10 megahertz. So let's do a peak to center. It's drifting in temperature as it's as its oven is heating up. But there we go. We'll do a peak to center and peak to reference level, and we have a nice uh, uh, noise there that we're seeing. Uh, we're doing a five kilohertz spread as we were before. Now I'm going to tap on the now bang it with my fist. Zoom out so you can watch what I'm doing here. And you can see that it's very insensitive to this banging. Whoa, my camera just slid down. Um, it's very, very less sensitive. So let's go ahead and bang on the PC board itself. Yeah, we're, we're getting some little side lobes here. That, that's probably some type of AM modulation. It's just affecting things a little bit, but I don't think we're seeing that same. Yeah, I'm banging right on the, uh, right on the crystal itself. Let me get my pencil out. Yeah, it's just not doing it. It's just not doing it like that other oscillator. So some oscillators are very insensitive to mechanical problems, and some are very, very sensitive to mechanical problems that become microphones. And so, yeah. Uh, now, can you see uh, this on a normal spectrum analyzer? Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can't see that with a normal spectrum analyzer. Um, we'll go ahead and put it back into regular spectrum analyzer mode. We'll do a center of 10 megahertz and a span of one megahertz. There we go, we'll do Peak to center, peak to reference level, peak to reference level. There we go. Um, so yeah, so let's go back and 
use the one that was very susceptible to mechanical noise. Put it back on. All right, let's uh, preset this. Let's do frequency, center frequency of 500 megahertz and a frequency span of one megahertz. So there is our 500 megahertz carrier. We will zoom in on that. So we will do a frequency span of 10 kilohertz. And let's do a peak to center, peak to reference level. There we go. And then we'll go back to the five, five uh, kilohertz spread. Uh, so we will set five kilohertz. So that's the same pictures we had before. Let's center it again. Now it's in the middle. And you can see that if I really hit it hard, I can see it once in a while. Yeah, well, that's not too bad. So this one's seeing it pretty, pretty easily. So it's a pretty fast spectrum analyzer as well. Our resolution bandwidth is uh, 30 hertz too. So this thing screams. <laughs> this thing's really, really nice. But anyway, you may or may not be able to see it on a regular spectrum analyzer, but the, uh, the real time, the real time mode uh, is super, super cool. All right, I took my external J-pole antenna out uh, onto it, and this is the FM broadcast band, so we can we can uh, zoom in on that. In fact, let's do a start of 88 megahertz and a stop of 108 megahertz. And so, yeah, those are all of the FM stations here in the San Francisco Bay Area. And so lots of different stations to look at all real time. Uh, we can go to one of those stations we will do a center of 98.5, which is a rock and roll station here. Oops, I didn't type that right. 98.5. And uh, there we go. Let's see here. Something's not right. We'll do a frequency span of 1 megahertz and a center of 98.5 five megahertz yeah there we go and so we can zoom in on that a bit here and you can watch the watch the actual amplitude modulation of the signal right and we're getting uh there's two sidebands these are digital sidebands so this is the analog sideband for the fm station and these are the hd of audio that's broadcast on two separate side bends on the outside. Um, this thing has one more feature. If I can figure out where it is, I always have a hard time getting to it. Uh, measurement setup, trace. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, I think we have to be in normal. It doesn't work in uh, this mode. It works in standard spectrum analyzer mode. So we'll go to standard spectrum analyzer. We'll do a frequency span of one megahertz. We'll do a center of 98.5 megahertz. And there is our radio station. It's not as pretty, pretty, it's not as pretty of a picture. We can do a max hold and we can start to see um, the sidebands. We'll, we'll scale it up a bit here. Uh, we can start to see the two side bands, but it's not as nice a picture as the real time thing. But yeah, there it is. Now, the other mode I was trying to get to was this one analog demodulator. Tune and listen. We can tell it we have wideband FM. There we go. So there you go. It has a demodulation. It'll do AM, FM narrow, FM wide, AM upper sideband, and AM lower sideband. So yeah, pretty cool built-in feature. 
And uh, I think quite a few modern analyzers have this now. All right, there you go. Just wanted to show off the uh, real-time spectrum analyzer and talk about crystals and oscillators being mechanically vibrational. And uh, maybe you learned something.